Vanillin by Megan Bailey. What is vanillin? Vanillin is made of eight carbon atoms, eight hydrogen atoms, and three oxygen atoms. The chemical structure is CH3O6H3OHCHO. The IUPAC name is 4-hydroxy-3-methoxybenzaldehyde. However, its common name is vanillin. Vanillin is generally white in color. However, it can also appear to be off yellow in color. The molecular weight of vanillin is 152.15 moles. Vanillin has the ability to melt at 80 to 81 degrees Celsius. It has a much higher boiling point at 285 degrees Celsius. This is a ball and stick diagram of vanillin. As you can see, there are numerous carbon double bonds. The red balls represent oxygen atoms. The black balls are carbon atoms and the white are hydrogen atoms. Vanillin has two functional groups. The first is ether, where there is a carbon-oxygen-carbon -carbon bond, the second branch. The other functional group is alcohol, which is the OH group. Vanilla was discovered in Mesoamerica in the 1300s. The Aztecs thought to be the first people to utilize vanilla and vanillin. They used vanillin to enhance the flavor of their drinks. This practice was quickly sought after in Europe. However, there is no way to get vanilla planifolia to produce outside of Mexico. Vanilla must have a natural pollinator in order to produce. Charles Morin discovered in 1836 how to produce vanillin outside of Mexico using artificial pollination. Today, vanillin can be produced in numerous places and climates thanks to Morin's work. Vanillin is the aromatic compound of vanilla. Vanilla is extracted from cured vanilla pods. The pods come from the vanilla planifolia, which is the plant. 10 to 15 percent of the green bean is composed of vanillin. However, after the bean is cured, there is only a 2 percent yield result of vanillin. How do we use vanillin? We have grown accustomed to having vanilla products on hand whenever we want them. We often use vanillin as flavoring in food and beverage industry. Vanillin flavonoids can be found in things such as chocolate and red wine. The ice cream and chocolate industry are responsible for 75% of vanillin used in the market today. We also use vanillin in pharmaceuticals as flavoring agents, as well as antibacterial and antioxidant activities. There is a huge demand for vanillin. There is an average need of 12,000 tons of vanillin each year. However, only 1,800 tons of vanillin is actually produced. Vanillin is considered to be a limited resource. Therefore, there are many synthetic varieties that are produced. Actual vanillin has a much more potent smell with a stronger flavor component. With advancements in the ways that vanilla is extracted from vanillin pods has allowed there to be somewhat decline of price in vanillin. It can now be purchased for $12 per kilogram. There is an opportunity to increase the supply of vanillin. Vanillin is produced from the process of hydrolysis of glucovanillin. Generally during this process, only 2% of the vanillin is yielded. However, before carrying out this process, we can add exogenous cellulose, pisentase, and beta-glucoside. This addition will allow the yield to go from 2% to 7%. However, there must be more research done in order to improve upon the cost efficiency. There has also been research done on how we can use corn to produce vanillin. We can actually extract vanillin from corn bran and corn fiber. There also be must more, be more research done on this before it can be produced commercially. Vanillin by Megan Bailey. The end. These are the works cited 
in this presentation.